At Lexia, we know literacy changes lives. As the gateway to the future for every student, literacy can boost their confidence and help them realize their full potential. Based on the science of reading, our literacy programs, along with all of those dedicated educators, can change the path of students' lives forever. We believe literacy can and should be for all. That's why at Lexia, we're all for literacy. What if your next cloud project could lead to climate resilient housing? Join Fannie Mae. Use emerging tech. Solve better problems like helping the housing industry address rising flood risk. Find tech jobs with impact at Fannie slash tech. Remember when we get the unpopular talks about uh, odor, sex, and other bodily changes that signal puberty is coming? Yeah, I get it. Details of blood can make everyone, especially females, a little shy. So we thought it would be helpful to try to clear a few things up about menstruation. Hello and welcome to another episode of Purple Things Podcast. My name is Monsurat Kolawale, a student, writer, and an SRH advocate. Each week, you will hear mind-blowing podcasts as well as actionable tips and strategies that you can implement in your daily life so as to become a more effective teenager. Thanks for spending time with me today. Now let us jump into your daily dose of practical teenage living. Today's topic is the myth of the real veil, my menstruation story, and I'll be talking about menstruation, busting common period myths, and also sharing some life-changing tips. I've had girl talks with my female friends and a host of other girls, and everyone has different things to say about how they started their menstruation, what it was like for them the first time, their self-care routine, and a host of other things. It is on this note that I'll be sharing my menstrual story. I got my first period when I was around 13 or 14. I was in the bedroom going through my normal morning routine. Suddenly, I saw blood, which really freaked me out. I called out to my mom. She was there to assist me and also told me it was a normal and natural occurrence. She bought me sanitary products to use and she also taught me how to maintain good personal hygiene and how to dispose sanitary products I use. Long story short, I decided to talk to other girls about their menstruation in my school, how to maintain good personal hygiene during their period, and I realized some of them had no idea about it, and they also assumed and believed the wrong things about periods. They were so engrossed in the things they believed in, but after talking to them about it, they were willing to unlearn the things they learned about periods before, and also ready to put to action everything I told them. Before we get deeper into the conversation, I will be defining some keywords that will be used frequently as we move on. I'll also be shedding light on the difference between menstruation and menstrual cycle. The keywords are cramps, tampons, and menstrual cup. Cramps are painful involuntary contraction of a muscle or muscle typically caused by fatigue or strain. Tampons are menstrual products designed to absorb blood and vaginal secretions by insertion into the vagina during menstruation. Menstrual cup is a type of reusable feminine hygiene product for the purpose of collecting menstrual fluid. It is also important to understand the concept of menstruation and menstrual cycle. The actual time that a woman bleeds is known as menstruation, but her menstrual cycle is the entire time from one period starting to the next. It is widely calculated that a woman's menstrual cycle lasts 28 days, which is only an average number. Some women's cycle are much longer, from 29 to 35 days, and can be shorter depending on the body type. Now, let's talk about common period myths. The first common period myth is females lose a lot of blood during their periods. It's a wrong assumption because, on average, females only lose about 2 to 3 tablespoons of blood during each cycle, and a person with a heavy flow might lose up to 4 to 6 tablespoons depending on the body type or medical condition. The second myth we'll be busting is your period should be exactly one week long and some periods sync up together. Although these myths are fun to believe and with about experiences that kind of prove this is not true. Everyone's period can be of different duration, it can last from 2 to 8 days or a bit longer or shorter depending on the body type. Also, periods last up to 8 days and they are 30 to 31 days in a month. They are bound to overlap with someone at some point, but it doesn't necessarily mean periods sync up together. Another common period myth is the saying that period blood are dirty and they smell bad. It is very wrong to assume or say this because period blood is actually blood, uterine to you and vaginal mucus, and it is not toxic, ample, or impure in any way. Period blood by itself has no odor and it only starts to smell when it mixes with the bacteria in your body. That is why it is advisable to maintain good personal hygiene during and after your period as a girl. It is also extra important to shower or wash your head during your period because it can help reduce cramps. Some people also say things like girls are not allowed to exercise, work out, or swim during their periods, and I must say it is a myth and not true. As long as you have no underlying medical condition, it is perfectly safe to exercise and swim during your period because exercising helps to boost your oxygen circulation and can make you feel better. It can also help to reduce cramps over time. Another popular myth is the saying that tampons and menstrual cups can get lost inside you and these products can cause cervical cancer. These are not true because the vagina is closed internally by the cervix and the cervix is only open enough for fluid to pass through. 
So it's not getting lost inside you, just like saying earphones can get lost inside your ear when you listen to music. That's not possible, right? So it is a wrong assumption. In addition, there is no scientific proof that tampons or menstrual cups can cause cervical cancer or any type of cancer because the chemicals used to produce tampons are in trace amounts and the menstrual cups are also made of totally safe medical grade silicone and they can't affect you in any way by using them. Some people also say things like PMS is in the female's head and it is not a real thing. Premenstrual syndrome, popularly known as PMS, is a natural hormonal change that happens in our body every month and can cause our levels of progesterone to increase. If you feel angry, frustrated, upset, anxious, or even a lack of confidence, remember it is all normal. The pain we get during our periods are real, the fluctuations are real, the emotions are real, and we females shouldn't feel embarrassed because of our period. Everyone can do their part to change this and also the stigma because periods are also humanitarian crises. Proper hygiene, support, and resources are needed for each girl child. Remember, I said I'll be sharing some tips at the end of the podcast. Yes, that's right. This is exclusive for those that listened up to this point. I'll be sharing some tips on how to maintain good personal hygiene while menstruating. Some of these tips are bathing regularly during your period, changing your pads regularly, using good sanitary products, avoid using soaps or vaginal hygiene products, tracking your periods regularly, and also proper disposal of your sanitary products. Thank you for taking our time to listen. May God bless you. This week's podcast episode was brought to you by United Nations Population Fund. Nigeria region. It is nice to have a wonderful and a nice conversation with Mrs. with Miss Monsurat Kolawoli. Join us next week for another exciting podcast edition. I know you don't want to miss it, but I assure you, it's always interesting, it's always intriguing and entertaining as usual. Conversing with teenagers and to give teenagers the necessary lessons, skills, and knowledge in order for them to be able to survive in the nearest future. Teenagers are the future of the tomorrow. Teenagers are the light of how a country stands for. So we will keep giving you back-to-back content in order for teenagers to be learned or learn and relearn. Watch out, take care, and stay tuned next week as we bring you an interesting episode i am still your host Alali Benishola, also known as area teacher remember purple things is all for things stay tuned and stay blessed ciao at lexia we know literacy changes lives as the gateway to the future for every student literacy can boost their confidence and help them realize their full potential Based on the science of reading, our literacy programs, along with all of those dedicated educators, can change the path of students' lives forever. We believe literacy can and should be for all. That's why at Lexia, we're all for literacy. When you look into Discover Student Loans, what you see might surprise you. We can help cover your college costs, don't charge you fees, and give you cash rewards for good grades. Ready to apply? Visit discoverstudentloans.com. Limitations apply.